Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I feel like I may have the biggest haul ever and if it's not the biggest haul ever then it's the biggest birthday haul ever or at least I think so. Um, I just want to quickly put it out there that a lot of this stuff I did buy for myself with my own money because um, I honestly didn't expect to get any gifts. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I got the Samsung NX3000. I love it because Wee! But seriously, it takes the best selfies ever. It's seriously such a good investment, or at least to me, it was such a good investment. I used it on my birthday. I got amazing photos. I'm so, so happy. No regrets. And I think this was definitely good value for money. I'm so, so happy with it. So I did get the NARS bronzer in the shade Casino. I own Laguna, but... I've just never really liked it until recently. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try Casino. I like the tone of it a lot more. Um, so that's what I did. Obviously, standard NARS packaging. And then the color of it is inside. I feel like it's just going to be a lot more warm toned and a lot nicer on my skin. So yeah, excited to be using that one. This was definitely a splurge item, which I didn't expect to buy, but I ended up buying it. Anyhow, um, this is the Giorgio Armani skin fabric sheer bronze bronzer in the shade 400 i was debating between 400 and 100 just because i think 200 and 300 just look way too weird for me so i ended up opting for 400 because it was a tiny bit darker so it match when i was fake tan but also when i'm pale um there's a nice brush in the little compartment and then there's the product and then there's the mirror seriously the product has the most beautiful embossing in it i'll zoom in hold on can you see that? How beautiful is that detailing? So beautiful. Oh my God, when I got this, I was just like, oh, no, stop. <laughs> but seriously, it's so gorgeous. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I don't really know what to say. I would have never bought this for myself, but seriously, this is so, so, so gorgeous. This I treated myself to. This is the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. I don't think it's out in Australia yet, but I was able to get it from America, so yay. Um, I've used it a few times. It's quite nice, but it's nothing different to any other one that I currently own. Oh my god, I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on these. You guys know that I currently own the MAC 15 Warm Neutrals Palette, and I love it. So I thought that I would get the Cool Palette, um, which is this one here. This is like $250 in Australia, so I was like, hell no, I ain't paying that. So I bought it on Nordstrom. Um, I was watching a girl on YouTube and she was saying that Nordstrom actually had their MAC Times 15 eyeshadow palette as well. And I was like, what? what <laughs> so that's the reason why i bought it on nordstrom instead of on the mac website um but i did get the cool palette and i really really like this so far but then what i really wanted was the mac nordstrom palette as if that is not the most beautiful thing ever like this has so many colors that i've wanted for years like i wanted beauty mark i wanted carbon what was this shade woodwinked is it no, mulch, sorry. Mulch, saddle. One of these shades I think is all that glitters. Yeah, all that glitters, satin taupe. Heaps of those common YouTube, YouTube well-known shades are in this palette. I want it so badly because it's so much better value for money when you buy it in these pre-made 15 palettes opposed to if you buy them individually. Clarence. I have been wanting to try their foundations for a very long time. So I bought three. They're all in the shade Honey, which is the number 110. So I bought the Skin Illusion, the Everlasting Foundation, and then also the True Radiance Foundation. I love all three of these. They're so, so amazing. Would you like to see a review or comparison video? Let me know. If you know me in real life, you know I'm obsessed with selfies. I was obsessed with the selfie stick. I love taking selfies. I even bought a selfie camera. I love selfies. So it was only natural for me to pick up the Too Faced Selfie Palette. I feel like they marketed this very well, very, very well. Um, I wonder purely based on the name and I'm never one to fall into gimmicks, but I definitely fell into this one and I'm so excited to use it. It's just a palette of three. Oh gosh. Oh no. I dug my finger into one of the shades. So there are three shades, a yellow, a bronze, and a blue. And apparently these are supposed to act as filters on your face. I've only used the yellow one and it looks really, really weird. So I'll have to update you guys. 
This I got off my lovely, lovely parents. Or to be fair, they just gave me money and I bought it myself. Um, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Semi Sweet Palette or Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, or however you want to call it. They bought me my Chocolate Bar Palette last year, the original one. So it was only tradition to buy me the new one that came out. I also got the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. This is the original kind. I love the Primed and Poreless Pure, but I decided to man up and get the one with the retinol in it um, and see how it goes. Like, I'm not even, I swear, this is probably almost as expensive as my camera. This is the Dior Capture Total Green, Green, no, Dream Skin Global Age Defying Skin Care Perfect Skin Creator. It looks like this. I got the jumbo size because I was like, go hard or go home, right? Um, yeah, I've used this twice so far and it's seriously just the most amazing consistency on the skin. And then this I've been wanting for a long time also. This is the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in the shade Beige. And then just how beautiful is that? There's just several strips of just amazing highlighty goodness. I haven't used this as an eyeshadow palette yet, but I'll do that next. But as a cheek highlight, oh my god, it's so beautiful. I did decide to purchase two Chanel powders. So the first one that I purchased was the Chanel Double Perfection Lumiere Longwear Flawless Sunscreen Powder Makeup with Broad Spectrum 15. I have mine in shade 20 beige. It looks like this. I'm going to be using this more for touching up rather than using it as a powder foundation. If I really, really like this, I'll definitely get a darker shade. Um, but so far, I haven't used it. I don't have the courage to use it yet and get the Chanel embossing damaged. <laughs> I'm so lame, but yeah. I'm so, so excited to use this. And then I did decide to get a second Chanel powder. So I got the Powder Universal Compact in the shade 20 Transparent 1 or 20 Clear Transparent 1. I'm not too sure. Um, it does come with a nice little sponge. And then that's the product in there. Um, again, I haven't had the guts to use it. Speaking of Chanel, I did decide to pick up a different shade of the Chanel Perfection Lumiere. This one I got in the shade 40 Beige. I do have it on my face today as a foundation. Um, I will definitely do a review of this for you guys so you guys can see my full thoughts and opinions of it. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I love the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. It's absolutely gorge. So I decided to buy two other Too Faced palettes. So the first one is the Too Faced Rock and Roll Palette. It looks like this on the inside, and seriously, I love this palette. If you've got hazel eyes, this palette will seriously be like your savior. It will make every single, it will make your eye just pop, like your eye color just pop. And then I also picked up the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. This was only recently released. Um, it's got some duplicates of my favorite palette, which is the Natural Eye Palette. I haven't really used this too much, so I can't really give you my full thoughts and opinions, but you know, when I have my opinions, I'll definitely share it with you guys. So I did pick up two bronzers from Too Faced. Um, just, oh my gosh, just because I really, really like the new packaging and I haven't bought a new Too Faced bronzer in quite some time. So I did pick up their new bronzer, which is in the shade Deep Slash Tan Matte Bronzer. It looks like this. I haven't used it yet, but I'm so excited to. I think they'll give just the most beautiful sun-kissed glow. And then I also bought the Beach Bunny Bronzer, which I think will just be an amazing bronzy, glowy bronzer. I think it will look so, so pretty. The NARS Audacious Lipsticks are seriously my weakness when it comes to lipsticks at the moment, but they're so expensive. Sorry, my laptop just started doing weird things. But yeah, they're so expensive. They're almost $50 each, so I may as well buy like YSL or Chanel but they're so gorgeous. So I did pick up one. This is in the shade Annabelle. I love it so much. It was everything that I wanted in a red lipstick. Seriously, so, so gorgeous. I also did pick up the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have mine in the shade 6.5. I'm gonna keep my opinions reserved for now, but I'll definitely do a review for you guys for the future. Two more things from Estee Lauder. I did get the Estee Lauder BB Cream. This one is in the shade Intensity 3. I really, really, really love this. I think I've already mentioned this in a favorites video. I'm not too sure, but I think I have. But yeah, this is so, so good. I love it so much. And then I also decided to get the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer. I picked up the shade 1 Light because the other shades just didn't look right. And sorry about the lighting if it changes. 
the weather's crazy at the moment. But this is the shade of it there. Seriously, this is so gorgeous. Another product from Bobbi Brown is the blush in the shade Nude Peach number 28. This is the color of it here. Seriously, it is so, so pretty. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. I don't like bright blushes, but just nice muted colors I adore. Another foundation, does it even surprise you? Because it doesn't surprise me. Um, this is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Stromboli. I did pick up a YSL product and the sun is going crazy, so I apologize. I actually look really, really unproportionate now, but oh well, whatever. So I did pick up a YSL product. This is the, not even going to try and say it, but it's basically their bronzing powder in the shade number two, Copper Sand. This is what the packaging looks like. This is my first YSL product that isn't a foundation. I'm so excited to use this. I'm so, so, so excited. And then this one, it was kind of just like a, why not? So I just picked it up anyway, even though I don't need another bronzer in my life. Um, I did get this one anyway. So this is the Girolan terracotta light sheer bronzing powder box looks like this seriously so gorgeous then the packaging looks like this seriously look at that if that is just not gorgeous i never thought that i would purchase this one with the mosaic pattern in it i always thought that i would get the standard flat one color but seriously i saw this in store the lady put it on my face and seriously i was in love but yeah i bought mine in the shade 03 brunettes and I absolutely adore it. It smells luxurious, the packaging is luxurious, I cannot get over this. So my two best friends in the entire world, they surprised me with, with a perfume that I've had on my wish list for quite some time but I've never purchased. Um, this is the YSL Black Opium Perfume. That's what the box looks like and then this is what the perfume looks like. Oh my goodness, seriously, those two girls, if those two girls were not in my life, I seriously would not be as happy as what I am today. They seriously just give me such a positive vibe of everything and I know that my month of May wouldn't have been as amazing as what it was if those two girls were not in my life. Two other products from Clarins. This one is so, so cool. This is the Clarins Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base. I have mine in the shade 01, which is Rose. Seriously, this is so, so, so cool. Like I put it on my hand and I rubbed it in and it didn't fill in the line. Like, you know how your, your hand has like lines and stuff? It didn't fill in the lines, but it blurred the lines. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I also picked up the Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch, just perfecting stuff. It's just a nice, moussey pink thing that you just put on your face. I use it to fill in my pores and I really, really like it. I've fallen in love with Clarins really, really fast, to be completely honest with you guys. Also from Estee Lauder, I forgot to mention it, I did get the mascara. This is called the Sumptuous Vol Bold Volume Lifting Mascara. This is what the packaging looks like. I haven't used it yet. I was supposed to use it on my birthday and I forgot to pack it. Dum dum. Um, but this is what it looks like. How gorgeous is that? I can't wait to use it. It was quite pricey, but... I've heard good things about this mascara, so I can't wait to use it. And then lucky, lucky, lucky last gift, I think. At least I hope so. Um, lucky last gift, I did get the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Um, this is in the shade one. Yeah, shade one. Haven't used it yet, but when I formed opinions, you guys know that I'll definitely fill you guys in. Um, it just looks like this. It comes in a little container. I honestly thought that it would be a lot bigger from what I saw online, but whatever as long as it does the job okay guys so that's the end of my haul video um thank you to everyone who's given me gifts and thank you to myself for buying me some of them as well um and also just thank you to everybody for basically shaping me to be the person that i am today i don't think that i would have been as strong or as proud of myself if it wasn't for everybody in my life at the moment um yeah i'm seriously forever blessed every single day like Sometimes when I'm sitting on the train going to uni or what what have you, I seriously sit on the train and I think how have I ever been so lucky and some days I honestly take it for granted and I'll be the first to admit it but seriously I am so so grateful for every single person that's had an active presence in my life. Um, you've definitely shaped me to be the person that I am and I could not be more proud of myself and no one can put me down for that. Um, but yeah. 
So that's all that I really have to say. Definitely comment down below if you want to see any of these products in future videos or just what you want to see from me in general because I film what you guys want to see. So yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.